All right. And I've got share screen turned on. Okay. <clears throat> Do you see my screen? We yeah. see Zoom. We got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I was art director of Modern Cycle magazine. Uh, that was one of the magazines. And I asked the editor uh, for tickets. And he gave me a press pass and a camera. This is the magazine that I did most of my uh, Laguna Seca and racing photos. Uh, this is a photograph of Roger DeCoster that I photographed with my 500 millimeter lens. It was an F5 at a thousandth of a second. And you're lucky to catch something coming at you because you have to pre-focus and hope you hit it at the right spot. Uh, Fast I did photographs can... for this magazine, and Monterey was one of the best events I ever went to. Uh, popular off-roading is where I did most of my off-road racing photography. Okay, this is the first race I ever photographed. I had a rented, uh, a borrowed camera. I don't remember what kind or ever. And this is Dick Mann being interviewed, who was the reigning world champion at the time. And these are all the people they were introducing from all over the world to start racing. Everybody's lining up and off they go. And photographing racing, it's location. Getting in the right spot and I was learning then where to stand and hope to get a photo. Uh, I took this one because it showed number eight, who was in first place with the uh, score tower. Again, trying to get racers close together. And this is Dick Mann, the world champion. Uh, he's in the old style racing where they're tucked in. They're not leaning out, dragging their knees at this period of time, except for some of the new racers who were taking over the sport. Here's one showing, starting to lean into a turn with his knee out. And this is the finish line. And this is the winner of the race. And that's me oh. <laughs> with the borrowed camera and it was a hot day. <laughs> and like That's I said, amazing. I have no idea what that camera is. And I took that Dick Man photo and made a black and white 
high contrast out of it because that was the best photo I took that day. Now the race is in two halves. They have a they have two races. So these are two of the racers preparing their feet because they take a their feet really take a battering with uh, dragging on the ground. I took this photo of them looking at me. And after that, if I'm shooting in the pits, I try to avoid taking this type of photo. I wanted to show them uh, unaware of the camera. Like this. You had the racers actually rebuilding their engines themselves uh, at this, before the factory teams took over and did all the work on the bikes. This is Kenny Roberts at one of his first races. Notice he's number 60. Next year, he'll be number two. His racing style uh, changed completely the racing that was done because he was the first one to really hang out there and get your center of gravity way out into the turn so you could take it at a very high speed. This is Cal Rayburn. He was killed in Australia race. It's a very, very dangerous sport at this period of time. And it's still dangerous. Uh, I had only one camera. So the first race I photographed in black and white, and then I switched over to color. <laughs> uh, now I shot Ontario three different times. So these photos are at some of those other races. I'm learning where to put my focus point on. Uh, you should see all the photos that I missed the focal point. This I experimented with infrared film. It gets a unique effect shooting with this type of film. It all depends on how much heat there is that affects the, the emulsion. I like to experiment with slow shutter speeds and tracking. And this is top of the corkscrew at Laguna Seca with Kenny Roberts in the next year hit the he's number one in the world. Try to capture the intensity of the racers. Try to get different viewpoints on the same area if photographing. This is where I'm standing when I took this photo. 
with my 500 millimeter lens. This is a, the approach at Laguna Seca towards the corkscrew. In the background is Fort Ord, where I took my basic training. So you can see Fort Ord in the background there. Again, infrared. Tracking. Trying to catch action. People miss a turn. Even the pros can miss a turn. Here's Kenny Roberts saving himself from crashing. Notice all the tapes on his knees from scraping, yet he has to put on scraping the ground. This I try to photograph people in the between races, the intensity that you see, working on their bikes, resting. They'll sit and they'll talk about the race. Notice how small the riders are. They're really what light, small people. So you go faster with a lot less weight. This is a flag that's put out when there's a crash on the racetrack. This is a rider falling and there's his bike chasing him. And there's the first aid people. It's a dangerous sport. I'm sorry to interrupt, but back to the picture you had with Wes Cooley, go, you see that? Yes. I took the Superbike yes. like Riding School and Wes Cooley was the guest instructor. So I got ah. quite a few laps following Wes Cooley. He was quite a character. I have one of... Uh of the instructor of that class coming up. Now here you have someone, he's gone down and he's racing for his bike and he's gonna start it and compete racing. Sometimes they just get piled up <laughs> and they have to try to pull their bikes apart. This was at turn nine at Laguna Seca. You have sidecar racers. I love watching the monkey. Yeah, me too. Now this guy is the monkey on the other side. So he has to lean over the racer for this corner. There's different types of bikes that race. This is the uh, super bike division.
Here you have Kitty Roberts chasing down the Hummel. They're, they were constantly passing each other on, on the track, trying to get different viewpoints. Who's showing a photographer on the track? It's like watching a ballet, the way the riders perform with their motorcycles. It's just incredible to the way they're part of the bike. Love to try to get the intensity of their stare. trying to get different viewpoints. There's the Keith, there's a guy who teaches that class. Keith Code, Keith Code Superbike yeah. School, yeah. Right, at, uh, what is it? Uh, and I'm I can't remember the uh, race course. Anyways, he's a neat guy. Love trying to get racers that are in tandem. And the winner. And these are all the bikes that people show up. Uh, one year, I went with a group of five and we drove from LA to Laguna Seca on our bikes. I was loaned a, a Suzuki 750 for, for the trip. This is a motocross at the uh, Los Angeles Coliseum. Wow. Now you have racing at night. So you have to, now I have a flash going off at the same time. You have sidecar racing and off-road, too. But you try to sync your camera speed with your flash. Sometimes it's difficult. Because Coliseum events are really a lot of fun. This was taken with one of my favorite lenses. It was a push-pull zoom. Uh, I had it stolen and uh, I missed that lens. Mm -hmm. This is flat track racing in Sacramento. This is on the half mile track. I covered one drag race and uh, I didn't enjoy it because of the, it was so loud. Uh, sometimes we would have special shootings. This, we were doing it for uh, this manufacturer. We was of one of our 
ads. And so we went to the drag strip uh, to photograph his bikes. And on this, I lay down on the track and had the uh, the bike race towards me. A little artistic flair. Uh, this is the Los Angeles Grand Prix, uh, 1975. Uh, I went to the race to photograph the bikes. Uh, this is Skip Axlin. He won the race. Try to get use different lenses to, and it got me since the pass was for all weekend. I photographed everything, so I got to watch the Formula One car cars. Uh, this is Nikki Lada and Andretti. They were racing closely the full race and Michael Andretti won the race. Location, location. I played with different techniques in Photoshop. Uh, Nilsson was killed later on in the year. Some winner, I forget what racetrack in Europe. Nicky Lotta was at the race. He had just recovered from being heavily burned. And that was his first race coming back. Now I'm at Laguna Seca Classic Car Race. That's Phil Hill. It's amazing watching. They're actually, they do race. Guess who this guy is? That's Tetzel oh. Adams. Oh, really? Wow. He was presenting a trophy to this car, and this is, I, I didn't get to meet him, but I got to see him. <laughs> Great. This is almost like not working. <laughs> Photographing these events are such a pleasure. I mean, to be able to be on the track this close to the cars and <laughs> meeting some very interesting people. Like I said, they do race and, you know, they missed the turn. Phil Hill was world champion for many years in Grand Prix racing. 
that's his Bentley that he drove from Los Angeles to the racetrack, raced it, then drove it back home. That's also known as the <laughs> blower Bentley. Can you go back to that picture? They're not. Yeah, that that's the supercharger there in front, the mechanical yeah. looking thing, and it was called the blower Bentley. Mm -hmm. so. uh, the classic car at that this was the Rolls Royce was the classic cars that they invited and they had every classic Rolls Royce there that were made. They brought, they imported them from England, all these special cars. And I got to photograph all of them. This is the Long Beach Grand Prix. Yeah. And this was the first time I photographed it. And I just got a general admission. And if you know where to go, you can photograph them in many different locations. It's getting harder and harder to, uh, because they're blocking off a lot of the access that I used to go to. Yeah, ever since Toyota left, it's really got bad. But see the difference from film and digital. Uh, your film has a unique quality, but the sharpness of digital is just, you know, amazing. I like to take photographs of people. I didn't show many of them here, but it's one of the things I'd like to do. And it's nice to watch the pits. Uh, this is a lady photographing one of the off-road trucks that's going by. You can see the uh, wheel of the truck right here and it's going this way uh arnold schwarzenegger for a Jeep celebrity race. Here's some of the celebrity. Here's the ce celebrities that racing this year, that year. Uh, Ruth Buzzy. You know. They have fun. <laughs> See the scratches in this? This was actually uh, one of the sh pieces of film that was scanned and put into the magazine. And that's why you see these. Here's some of the crop marks. And this is telling where it goes in the magazine. He won the John Bowen won the race again. Here's the crop marks and the directions of where it's going to go in the magazine. And then is that Arnold, he was fooling around with all the ladies. This is off road. Uh, they raced in California, Nevada, Arizona, and Baja. This is one of the 
stadium races. This is at Riverside. That's now a housing development. This is at the Coliseum. Uh, Mickey Thompson, he was murdered, him and his wife. Uh, on this, I put a roll of film in the camera twice. And so I get a double exposure. Here's another double exposure. See the lady crawling out? over a fence? Well, this is why. Uh, it's hot out there. So people would go behind the uh, water truck that goes around the track trying to put the dust in and into the off-road areas. Mm -hmm. I love scanning at a slow shutter speed. <clears throat> the cars really bunch up at the start of races. Uh, this is in Mexicali at the start. Here, the, the rider, this guy hanging off is the cold driver. They lost the wheel. So he's hanging off to balance the car so they could keep going. There's the tire and rim where he was sitting. They change a lot of tires during races. And these are two spectators who is helping the driver change the tire. Speed is all go. That's why you have a code driver is there so the, the driver can stay in the car and he will do all the repairs. Wow. They hit hard if they look, miss a jump. Location. I have fun at this location. Now these people will go and turn his car over so he can keep racing. And they race at night. So this is right at sunset. One of the uh, water hazards they go through. There I am. <laughs> with my 500 millimeter lens and the other camera, I don't know what I have on it. <laughs> this whole series that you see arms hanging out, after this was published, uh, they made these VWs anchor their doors so they wouldn't fly open anymore. This is uh, one of the off-road races 
where uh, the driver ran over the tire and flipped. This is Rick Mears after racing. He won, plus he won the Indianapolis 500 earlier this year that the photo was taken. Now, I was at Mexicali and the racers were talking about this one area, the track at the start of the race that someone is going to miss it. So taking their advice, I went there and this is what happened to this car. Mm. This was at a sang drag in Salt Lake City at the Great Salt Lake. It rained really heavy, and they had to postpone the race for quite a bit before they got the track repaired to begin racing again. And there's the Great Salt Lake. And that's the end of my presentation. So you can take Excellent. it back, Steve. Excellent. Yeah, it was very good. <laughs>